there, everybody. We're going to watch yeah. a movie, and you're going to watch us watching it. Yeah. That's right. And while you're watching us watching it, I'm going to be watching the inbox and Twitter. I'm also going to be live tweeting this movie. Somehow, some way, it's going to happen. Jordan, wow. you're going to split your focus between those three things. That's incredible. Right. How That's right. You Every... miss, you'll miss all the subtle nuances that I'm sure this movie will bring to us. Yes, but every 33% of my attention will be getting 100% of my attention. Well, there Excellent. You. The math no, works. Yeah, there's no way this can go wrong. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure if you guys were aware of this, but we're drawing pretty close to the Christmas holidays here. Uh huh? Uh huh? So we thought maybe today would be a great day to watch The Christmas Martian. Well, every day is a great day to watch The Christmas Martian. This is another yeah. from the Tales for All series. <laughs> Christmas oh, Martian. Right. Maybe one day that will be an Elon Musk's nickname. <laughs> the Christmas, Christmas Martian. Martian. He'll go around with like a little spaceship and giving presents to everybody. Yeah, just dropping right. Teslas from the atmosphere. You know? Yeah, yeah. Cool. I want a be train. Good. Ooh. Tesla train. Um, electric train. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's train our eyes on this movie. Yeah. Yeah, you know have what you, I like about you guys these? seen this one? No, I've, I've never, I've never seen, seen it. I have never either. seen this one. But I'm let me give you a quick synopsis. It. It's Christmas time, and a Martian visits. I'm interested. I'm lost. I'm lost already. <laughs> As usual, you guys know the drill. You want to support the channel. You like it. You subscribe it. You give it a thumbs up. You take hostages and demand that the good improv show or some good improv product be played everywhere in the world or else you're not giving up the hostages that's right and uh yeah you watch uh, watch along with us you yeah. can talk too if you want we won't hear you but you can talk just yell at the screen a lot yeah you can talk you can tweet you can email we'll get it we'll Remember get the chat it. here too we'll be watching that too we got eyes everywhere <laughs> Okay, okay, are you going to watch the chat, or do you want me to open another window here? I got three no, open. I got the chat. I'll watch the chat. Okay, I can okay, do one Dan's thing. Dan's going to watch the chat. I got the Okay, three. I'll, watch, I'll watch the movie. Yes. You watch the chat. You watch Perfect. the email. A machine. The, the That's what this is. A machine. All right. Hey, I'll just tell go. you guys what's happening. Speaking There's of machines, Martian. let's jump into our cars. Hey, we should get out of oh, here, because yeah. this isn't a great place to watch a movie. Yeah. That's Already, like they it. got multiple fonts going on here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they put the side. If they didn't use a spacey font on Martian, we'd be like, "What is this thing, Martian?" Oh yeah. Oh, see, I told you. <laughs> this kid looks like he has no feet. His boots are white. <laughs> the snow's white. It looks like he's just floating. <laughs> it does too. It does look just like little stumps running there. That's crazy. <laughs> Both of them. It's like they're green screen. I should have given them some sort of like dark shoe or a, or a something that wasn't the same as the snow. Well, Jordan, I think it's fair to say that the one thing the Tales for All series is not known for is filmmaking in general. <laughs> what do you mean? They made a bunch of films. Yeah, but they don't know how. They're figuring it out as they go. You don't need to know how to there. make a film to be a filmmaker. All you got to do is make a film. That's true. David that Lynch has worked with it, well. That is true. This is like a 15 film series. So there you go. Come on, keep moving. Watch out. Come on, hurry up, will you? Oh, I wish Mom would let me go by myself. Riveting. <laughs> the whole movie is just the kids climbing a hill. <laughs> just climbing and talking. I feel like I'm in small town Quebec. Uh -huh. Living the life of a small town Quebecois child. No, no, Justin, this is a very authentic right feeling English town, as far <laughs> as I can tell. <laughs> well, wherever these kids are from, they got a ton of energy. This is they're, they're not layabouts, you know, they're off no, running, no. walking. Running up that hill. Running up the hill. 
Okay, so we uh, we have our who just kicked her right in the shins there. Yeah, it took out Frankie's legs there with the leg sweep. We've established Frankie. I don't know if she's been named yet. We just know Frankie so far. Yeah. That they like Orange Crush. No, that's not Orange Crush. Look how many chairs this store's got here. Nobody's he's sitting in them. How about those cookies? Oh, yeah. Ah, Kathy and Frankie, good morning. Good morning. Well, do you want something else besides this? A box of turkey stuffing, please. Uh-huh. Anything else? No, mm -hmm. we're eating. Thanks for Christmas here. Just, just the stuffing. <laughs> okay. What do this you guys think is... Why. What do you guys think is the best crush? Uh, or I say Great. orange. Great orange. crush. Great yeah. crush for Jordan? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to vote the lime crush, man. That's just kind of my number one. Oh, right, well, there you go. Yeah. Very controversial views here. A lot of, a lot of diversity here. This could tear the group yeah. apart. <laughs> Already has. <laughs> In my mind, you guys are both dead. <laughs> Ah, Kathy and Frankie, good morning. Good morning. Well, do you want something else besides this? A box of turkey stuffing, please. Uh-huh. Anything else? Mm, a pint of cottage cheese. The cottage cheese? All right. He's like, uh, a pint of cottage cheese. Like, he was just making stuff up there. Is that Martian? Are we seeing our Martian already? Did the Martian just look in the window and somebody screamed? I think that's what happened. The Martian was just, like, I looking wish. at a lady undressed there? I could tell, but I have been busy making a poll, gentlemen. Which is the best crush, orange, grape, or lime? Wow. Find out in one day. Okay, great. Oh, oh, oh. Great. Then drop that in the chat, too, if you want to tell us your favorite crush flavor. That's casual. Everything's okay. All from school, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, we're Just people from Earth here. Ah. Been having fun in the snow, I see. Not an alien. Yes, sir. This is the Martian? I'm guessing so. Okay, did you see that guy with his pipe there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so shocked his pipe fell. Comically but he caught out of it. it, though, on the way down. Like, he was, he, he telegraphed the whole thing. He doesn't well, he want to ready break for pipe. It. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're right. He was prepared. <laughs> Operator, please, the police. I'm being robbed. Hurry, hurry. And then his lips didn't even say those words. Okay, you are being robbed, fair. But until he left the store, yeah. he didn't know you were being robbed. Well, he was eating food without saying why. Well, you didn't know. He might have yeah, oh, oh, it's icy. It's icy, guys. Careful. His rolls. Hey kids, did you see a big man in a raccoon coat with a fur hat? Yes, sir, at the store. He was making funny noises and blowing bubbles. You know, hold on, that's interesting. Normally, if you slam on your brakes on a snowy, icy road, you just kind of skid. But that was a nice, real loud screech, which is kind of weird. <laughs> they, that, they added that sound effect in after. They just, they just like, what, yeah. what car stop sounds do we have? Do we have any, do we have any slow snow? No, we got a screech. All right, I had the screech. Yeah, throw it in, whatever, I don't care. They're going to be walking in snow later, and you're going to hear, like, the clomp, clomp, clomp of cowboy boots on a wooden <laughs> wooden sidewalk. <laughs> That's what Watch we got. That's hand. what we got, guys. It's like the movie Airplane, where they, they it's a jet engine, but you hear, like, the fans of the, of the propeller plane, the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Nice of you to give us this lift, Mr. Framer. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, How far oh, did those kids there, walk? Right. They got to hey, take it by sleigh ride. Right? Oh. Like to drive for a while. <laughs> oh well, can I, Mr. Framer? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> a person only goes around like this so that they can drink while they're driving, so to speak, because yeah, the horse well, can't get it. busted. This kid just said, can I drive? It's like, well, I mean, the horse is going to be doing a majority of the work yeah, here. Yeah, the horse knows what it, where to go. I mean, that's the thing. Like, the horse will just walk into the river if you command it to walk into the <laughs> river, you know? No. 
Look how short that horse's tail is. This is short. The snub tail horse. Is that normal? I've never seen that before. No, they, they have to trim it to be like that. Or tie it up. Right. But yeah, that's trimmed. Oh. So is the well, rest of the tail so just like hair here. that they can chop off, or did they cut off like actual tail? Well, no, it's because the horse's tail is it's like it's, it's just hair, right? There's like a bit of, of like bit so it can whip it. But that bit of like the end of a spine like a tail would be is very, very short. And the rest is just hair that comes off, off of that. If you shaved it, it would just be like kind of a little weird nubbin um, yeah. above its butt. It's possible so it this is just very, very odd. It's possible that this is just a teenage horse that's going through a rebellious phase and has <laughs> shaved off its long tail after having it grown up go. for its whole childhood. His parents are disappointed. Like, where's the punk haircut you got there with your <laughs> short tail? That's how we do it, yeah, now, it's all Dad. Just, a horse's tail is all—it's all just mainly just hair. You can trim it. Yeah, give it a mohawk. Yeah. I yeah. never saw so much snow. Everything all right up there? Oh, I'm fine. How about you? <laughs> Glad to have a chauffeur. <laughs> you drive well, Frankie. Thanks. <laughs> oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. You want to drive a one horse open sleigh? <laughs> That's literally what they're doing. Maybe this is where the song comes from. Maybe from this, this movie. This, this movie, that little girl wrote that song. Was he serious? Well, of course he was serious. Why wouldn't he be? After all, that thing comes out. Hush, hush, here. Listen, Look at these listen. fellows smoking indoors here, just puffing away. Our peaceful community has recently come to the attention of interplanetary space travelers, or so some people are saying. <laughs> Several residents have reported seeing strange objects in the sky last night. Our brave police believe it must be some kind of holiday prank. I'll However, bet you what they've been seeing so is famous prize goose. <laughs> oh, sure. Go ahead. Oh, oh, the old sure, sure, but I saw it, I tell you. Must have been his goose. <laughs> guys are just barely in control of their cruiser at any given time. Whoa! Quick change artist. You want somewhere, man? Maybe you want a taxi. Any place in town's a flat rate out of town. In, uh, huh? So do you want a taxi or not? <laughs> I'll just start the meter oh, until you yeah, come back. Too dangerous. You have to be careful with the max. Daddy should I didn't hear no. Maybe when you're bigger. Should we get one of those over there? No, silly. They were planted a couple of years ago. That whole section. Oh, yeah. I remember when Daddy did that. We'll get a nice wire one, though, won't we? Yeah. Okay, how does that enhance the Martian's vision in any meaningful way at all? <laughs> of them so it's, yeah, it's extra confusing well it's you know? kind of um, martiany music that we're getting now sort of spacey kind of sci-fi music there. that's how you know the martian is on screen <laughs> he's yeah, just playing he's that through a, music. Like a cassette you, recorder you, sh you sure as hell can't tell by looking at him he's a martian. Box. <laughs> they do this a lot in movies even better sci-fi movies than this where if they show the alien's point of view and to make an alien they make like compound eyes yeah but, like you said, it doesn't help at all. Like, no, he's not a fly. A like, that's what like I'm a saying. Com yeah, a fly's compound eyes would be like, like almost 360 around it. Yeah, and it would be. But I mean, this is just you're just looking at one image, just a whole bunch of time. Well, I think it could be argued or debated that you don't even need to show anything from the Martian's perspective. Is that going to become important, or can the Martian just be this character that is always <laughs> seen from not a first-person perspective, but a third-person perspective, yeah. rather? I don't I see mean, weird just, vision. Just, How do I know he's actually a Martian, then? Because he's going, wee, 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 blowing bubbles, apparently. <laughs> Here's another steep one. 
I can ski down. I don't see many people climbing you. trees anymore. Well, my kid climbs oh, trees. Isn't this fun? When he finds yeah. a climbing, climbing one. It's hard to find climbing steep, trees, though, in that. Even steeper. Yeah, that's a big problem around here. We don't have enough trees that are climbable. No, no, very, very few. Smooth trees in this part of the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all poplars and, like, firs. Yeah. <laughs> they're hard to climb. Look how the snow covers everything. I hope you don't sink in. Yeah, <laughs> That's like what snow does, moon. stupid. Do you think there are people living on the moon? If there are, they'd better be Eskimos. It's like this. That's incredibly twisted logic there from, uh, was his name Frankie? Frankie, yeah, Katie and Frankie. That's some pretty uh, twisted logic there. If there's anything on the moon, it better be Eskimos, because it, if, it might be snowy on the moon. If it's, if it's like this, if it's like this, they'd better be Eskimos. But, I mean, he has no way of saying if it is like this, right? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a very circular argument. Yeah. If it's like this, they got to be Eskimos. If they're Eskimos, then it's probably like this, right? <laughs> right. It's, uh, yeah. This he is 1971, okay? This movie takes place in 1971. Rain. They already have had two years of moon knowledge to know that this is not... <laughs> to be fair, you're talking about kids from a small uh, French-Canadian town. I'm guessing they're, they're, they're raised, probably taught by a priest or something in the local school. <laughs> so circular logic is, is all part of the whole program, I think. That's fair. That's fair. There's a lot of circular logic going around, but you know what doesn't get a lot of mention? Rectangular logic, triangular logic, <laughs> trapezoidal o logic, o octagonal logic. Yeah. So they're all the same as circular. You just have to make more stops along the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just make more points. That's all. Certainly. That one. That one looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that one looks pretty good. We'll plant another one in the spring to take its place. Not too oh, convincing yeah. when you're just repeating him yeah. there, Frankie. I told your daddy showed me how, didn't I? Isn't it lucky we live on such a big farm so we don't have to buy a tree? Yeah. There you go. Establishing the location where they are. All right, Frankie. And good for these kids I'm being so interested in the economics of buying a Christmas tree every year. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. They, they, they know they have to replace it. These kids seem to be the most competent people in the movie thus far. Oh, None far, of the yeah. adults seem that competent. Kathy. Now, how are you going to drag that back? I don't see a uh, sled with you guys. I don't see any rope. Just taking it barehanded. Yes. Oh, there you go. They did bring a rope. Oh, they did. I have had to do it, and it is a pain to drag the tree to fall. Bet it is. I'd describe it as more of a drag than a pain. <laughs> hey. hey, you're not pulling. I am too. Hey, look at those footprints. We'll leave the tree here and come back for it later. They're so big and green. Hey, who can make green footprints? Guys, I got a question for you. You find the perfect Christmas tree. Yeah. Perfect. Like nothing you've ever seen before. And you also find Sasquatch footprints. But in order to follow the footprints, you got to abandon the tree. What do you do? Uh, I follow those footprints, I think. Yeah, I think you have to for the sake of the plot yeah. and whoever may be filming yeah. you doing what you're doing. Did they just say they're so big and green? green? Yes, the footprints are green. <laughs> Might be a Grinch. Why do you leave green footprints in the snow? <laughs> wasn't an animal and it couldn't be people and they go all the way up the hill to that tree there there's something funny about that tree yeah i might just be imagining it look kathy do you, you see something behind it, yes. the tree like somebody hiding behind it let's go find out yeah come on let's go find out it's running away <laughs> after it come on <laughs> hurry frankie hurry i'm going faster than you <laughs> 
country is cruising. Marsh is wearing a fur coat. <laughs> yeah. Remember when we saw him before? Stravagant. Sure. He's the man that was in the store making bubbles. Well, we'll find him. We'll Guys, we got an update on the crush poll. We, we got one vote for grape. And we got one comment from uh, at Aaron Y-E-G. The real answer is pineapple. Pineapple oh, crush? crush. I've, I've never tried pineapple crush. crush. Put that down, Kathy. You know you're not supposed to play I've with tried it. It's pretty good. Yeah. This child is lighting her feet on fire while we're talking about Crush here. I'll just pause that. a giant match? Okay. So uh, you've tried Pineapple Crush. Is it any good? Yeah, it's it's good. Okay, listen. At the risk of insulting at Aaron Y.E.G., are you out of your mind? Because Pineapple (laughs) Crush has nothing on Lime Crush. You've got sourness? Okay, fine. But you don't have the delicious lime flavor. Well, and it's also, it's not dethroning grape for me. I still think that grape is numero uno. Man, Apparently, feel... one vote agrees. But uh, that's, who knows, that's just two people out of, what is there, over a million in Edmonton? So let us know, YEG. I, I feel so pedestrian just saying orange crush. <laughs> like this, that's, that's the original crush. When I, when I say crush, I don't even put orange in front of it because I assume it's going to be orange. <laughs> How terribly common. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to back up because I'm not 100% clear on yeah, what happened there. What did she find? Was this a match Looks she like found? Looks like must have just flown away. Here's a giant match. I'm going to try and light on my snowshoe. Put that down, Kathy. You- Why? Why are you going to try to light the giant match on your snowshoe? Why are you going to do that? Yeah, take it home. Light it on a rock. That's a smart thing to do. Maybe this is part of a magic act. I'm now. They always announce what they do. I'm now going to take the giant match <laughs> and light my snowshoe <laughs> on fire. I think she's working with the Martian. Yeah. You know you're not supposed to play with magic. You know that. Just dangled the kid out of a helicopter. Yeah, I was just saying. You think they just dangled her out of a helicopter? Dangling around of something, that's he's actually that high up. Maybe it's, there must be a crane or rope on there or something, but still. Justin, come on now. They got a crane for this movie? You think there's a crane involved in this procedure? I think they'd be able to get a crane easier than they'd be able to get a helicopter, honestly. <laughs> they probably just bounced her on a trampoline and just like stuck to the, yeah. the shot when she was up real high. They had to bounce the camera first and hope it was pointing <laughs> yeah. in the right direction. You know what we don't have in this movie so far? Uh, conflict, motivation for the Martian. Any reason for uh, it to exist? <laughs> what? Frankie, I'm getting scared. How do I get down? Throw that thing away! The snow is soft! Snow is soft. You see how high up she was? Play with matches? Well, at least we know why there are no more footprints now. Let's look around some more. All right, over this way. Now, let's not discuss the insane thing that just happened. (laughs) And did you notice that Frankie hadn't moved an inch? So she just, like, went all around town and then came back in the exact same spot she went up. She was over buildings. See, that's why I always keep the levitation matches in a different cupboard. Exactly. Because, you know, somebody's birthday, you try to light their cake. Irresponsible. You know, I... I get a feeling watching this crowd that somebody just told a really good joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put that in the movie. <laughs> we don't want to. That. <laughs> That's the tallest tale I ever heard. But, gentlemen, my story is true. Oh, I never would have breathed a word about it. Yeah. <laughs> Except from what I've heard from both of you. You're a bubble maker in a great fur coat, and I'm not forgetting your grandmother with flying match, Bert. <laughs> about midnight last night, and the sky was perfectly clear. <laughs> I didn't feel much for sleeping. I was hungry. You know, it happens sometimes. So I got up. 
Out of bed. You sacrifice sleep for hunger? How often <laughs> does that happen? Why was he being oh, all weirdly defensive about that, though? He's like, I was hungry. It happens sometimes, you know. Yeah, like, sometimes. You get hungry? Uh, yeah, every human on Earth gets hungry sometimes, <laughs> of course. It's almost like he's the Martian. A beautiful clear night. And I walked down to the kitchen quietly so I wouldn't wake Marie. You know how she is about my midnight snacks. Having a midnight snack there. Piece of, piece of bread. <laughs> Just get another piece of bread, make a sandwich. Suddenly, I look out the window and there's an egg in the sky. A great glowing egg drifting across the sky. It was right above your cornfield. All of a sudden, it dropped out of sight behind the hill. I jump up in a flash out of my house onto my porch. I look around. Would you believe it? The biggest egg I've ever seen vanished without a trace? Nowhere. Not a sign of it. The biggest egg I ever seen. Anyone ever seen. It would have won first prize at the county fair. Vanished without a trace. This egg would have weighed a half a ton. The hen wouldn't have fit in the hen house. It's really poked out of his head. A prize egg. <laughs> and you don't believe me. Why was the guy making like kissy Brooks faces there. at him? He did look like Mel Brooks. Over, like, over chewing his gum, really. Like, that was some, that was some great... You know, well, they were like, hey, we have no lines in this scene. We really got to make our presence felt with our physical acting. Frankie, should we be scared? Scared of what? Hold on, hold on. This is not a flying saucer. A saucer, maybe. But it's no longer flying. Yeah. It's a sitting (laughs) saucer. Are you guys seeing it more clearly than I am? Because I'm having trouble Uh, seeing the flying saucer. No, it appears to be wildly overexposed. Okay, okay, good. Good, good, good. It's not just me. All right. Oh... I wonder how come it landed here, in the old gravel pit, near this old machinery. Because that's where we can get the permit to film. Because <laughs> that's a place that was abandoned long enough for us to yeah. just go do this. <laughs> Gee, Frankie, I'm getting you frightened kind of now. See it now. What's there to be afraid of? Yeah. Look, it's just a flying saucer like on TV. See how round it is? And the lights around the edge? Look, Frankie, there's nobody around. So what, silly? They're all inside, probably. Do you think it's really a flying This is exactly person? what Hansel and Gretel right. went through. You know? Look, a gingerbread house. Yeah. Let's go up to it. Meet it. Yeah, this kid is being incredibly nonchalant. Like, his sister is having the right reaction here. He's like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> yeah. There could be aliens anywhere. What's going on? And he's like, they're just inside, dummy. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, just, just, you know, whatever. I'm sure they Fine. won't eat our brains. And there's the antenna up there, just like on television. Can we go inside, Frankie? Can we? After we find the door. Come on, let's get these snowshoes off. And we'll look for a way to get in. You go around that way, Kathy. See if you can find the door. Good. I'll go Split this up. way. Smart. And be careful. Smart. I'll be careful. Oops. I'll be careful. Immediately falls. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't just let yourself into someone's car. <laughs> well, this is a flying saucer, so they are invaders, and therefore anything goes. We don't have to right. treat them with respect in any way. You're right. They actually wouldn't have human rights. It's just the Gravitron. The fair's coming in. <laughs> just stare and storing their cargo the wall for a while. Here. That's all. Where yeah. are you? But look what's been happening lately. Strange things going on around here. Uh, now you weren't lying, right? Yeah, you, no, you of course are. not. Now let me make my point. <laughs> now first of all, why don't you want to believe me? Oh look, now you're not going to fool us, Framer. Huh? Sorry, Kathy, I couldn't hear you with the noise that thing's making. I found the door. Yeah, speaking of the noise this thing's making, if you want it to be discreet, you're not just going to leave it running with the alarm going (laughs) off. It's very, 
very bad for the environment leaving your ignition on like that. And look at how much smoke this thing's putting out. You expect aliens to have futuristic emissions devices. Yeah, no, nope, nope, apparently still not. Using coal. Still using that's coal. Why coming, that's why they're coming here. <laughs> hey, how long do your environment through? To about 2050, you say? Ah, sweet. Oh, that's more time than we have it. on our planet. Plenty of time. We're still using coal. So you guys got lots of coal. And you idiots are just going to stop using it. You should just sketch where we're on a UFO and we're shoveling coal into the fucking engine. <laughs> you got to shovel really fast. Bro. We got to go faster. Faster than yeah. light travel. You know how much coal you need to puncture a hole in space time? I think it's a steam engine. That's great. Just the boiler steam room power down there. Spaceship. <laughs> Well, the, the original War of the Worlds suggested that they came to Earth by, uh, they were shot from like a cannon or something. Oh. They shot out of a someone, cannon! Someone noticed on Mars, there was some sort of, uh, it was some sort of like explosion, and then a canister, a canister arrives on Earth. And then the Martian crafts come out of it. So it's not like, it wasn't like a flying saucer, it was a projectile that they right. shot from Mars to Earth. Right. Like, like, like we'd launch a rocket or something, but they, like it was somehow fired at Earth. That's how that's how they get here in War of the Worlds. And then they had some of the crafts who swung in on a trapeze, and some of the <laughs> yeah, crafts. Yeah. <laughs> you can go in first. Nah, you can go. I won't mind. All right, we'll choose. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother told me to pick this here one. You win. <laughs> that was rigged. rigged. It seemed rigged. <laughs> rigged. <laughs> Get an audit on that. Is there anyone around? Better hope not, criminal. You guys remember that robot in Man of Steel? <laughs> you think oh, it might the... be this? Yeah. Him? What is it doing here? Showing a cool electro show. <laughs> you chicken wire around his face, you. implying that but he doesn't want chickens to escape much from more his mask. Dangerous. It's against the law, too. Besides that. <laughs> Throws their food up to their mouth like that. <laughs> He's Busted. Duck camping! Hey, well, it's a ray gun! Is it? This Martian has a right to defend himself. You broke into his UFO. Despite all the strange events of our holiday season, there are no. I'm sorry, am I crazy? That didn't seem at all to look like a ray gun. It was just kind of a no. clear tube. Draw. The reports of any flying saucers. Seems it was just a holiday prank. I'm worried the children didn't get home for lunch yet. <sighs> well, they're on vacation, aren't they? Let them have their fun while they can. They're <laughs> on vacation from us. <laughs> Don't stay away. If they're gone for a couple of weeks, I wouldn't be surprised. Tyler, though. See how many you can eat, kids. Um, this is disturbing imagery. Yeah. That's a lot oh. of Sparties or whatever they got there. He's not a Martian, he just has an opioid addiction. Kathy? <laughs> Kathy? You alive? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Probably have an easier time eating if you took that net off his face. Yeah, just feed a little girl some candy. I don't know about what happens on Mars, buddy, but on Earth, that's inappropriate to do. Why is it that every Tales for All movie has, like, some suspect, like, barely, you know, barely just about to cross the line stuff in it? You know what I'm talking about? And, and yeah, well, you that. know, too, the people making this, they have, they're obl completely oblivious. Completely to it. They have oblivious no idea. to it. Everybody else is like, yeah, cool. He feeds the girl a little candy by with yeah. his hands and just pushes it right into her mouth. You know, that's totally cool. Nothing wrong with that. Whatever. 
Yeah, I don't know anything about the motivations or intentions of the filmmakers involved in this. But Whatever, it's weird. we're going to make a movie about a pop star that has an amusement park in his house and invites little children for sleepovers. It's fine. You know? Weird about it. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what's weird about it. <laughs> it's candy, Frankie. Candy. Candy? <laughs> Never accept candy from strangers. Number one rule. It's almost <laughs> sexual the way he's eating yeah, it. He's like, oh, God. I don't have candy on Mars. It's just a dry, dead rock. <laughs> so it's all fun games until he gets into the bedroom. This is a lot like Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> oh, it's in reverse. That's good. Oh, yes. They promised the candy, and now they suck the candy away. You know, fun fact about this production, they didn't just film that and then play it in reverse. They actually had a machine suck up all the candy. Yeah, yeah. Is that the way he talks, Frankie? Yeah. I bet he's from Mars or Jupiter or someplace. No, he's just from a special school down the street. Okay, there's no way that this technology picks up that jumbled mess of both their voices and translates that into something usable. So there's two different sizes. It's double sided. It's like a double sided cassette tape. <laughs> there isn't any school now because we're on Christmas vacation. And we were bringing a Christmas tree home when we first saw you. All right, that's enough. I can now translate your entire language. Giant bong. Just <laughs> take one puff of this, ice. children, and. We're going to stir constantly, so no crystals form. We're making fudge here. You think he's got the words in there, Kathy? Or she's got a distillery going here. Oh, what he's, is this he's... child's life experience where he says, do you think he has the words in there while somebody is pouring a glass of liquid? Well, it's because he put the thing they spoke to, he, he put it in the thing at the top. Yeah, I know, I saw that, but like, again, <laughs> my mind doesn't immediately <laughs> jump to, oh, well, the tape recorder he put in there must contain the words that are in this liquid now. <laughs> Well, that's how you. That's how you. Re that's how you reduce. That's how they make a bridge audio books. They take the full CD set and they put it in a pod and reduce it until it's smaller. <laughs> oh wow, Kathy! Look. Oh. Ah, da. Yes. They didn't speak yes. Russian. Where do you even get that? <laughs> yeah, the Russian version. So the Russian version was in there as well. Maybe he already molested a Russian kid earlier in the movie. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> we'll find his bones later, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go a bit. I'm bit. No? We, the people of the United States of America, in allegiance to the flag and to the republic for which it stands, there are many ways of talking among the people of your planet. Perhaps this is the one you understand. Ah, good. My name is Frankie Allen. Her name is Kathy Allen. Go to school, on vacation, in seventh grade. Don't worry, I'll improve with practice. <laughs> My dear young people, I wish to, well, greet you. Highly suspicious way of saying that. Yep, yep. My I young don't people, know I want to uh, greet Good. you. Uh -huh. Which which verb should I put here that's not going to get me arrested? Street, yeah, that's the verb. That's what I want. Well, you know, that's just like a Martian, too. This is probably totally illegal on Mars. So the Martian comes to Earth to do yeah. these sick Martian things that he like, can't get away like, with on his whole yeah. planet. It's like go to Thailand. It's like international you know? waters for a Martian. That's right. Where'd you come from? From a planet that is... Are there any laws in space? <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. I don't think there would be. I mean, like nobody. If I, nobody... if I rode a rocket up to the 
to space. I, I could like murder a guy and then come back and everything would be fine. I I don't that's, know. I don't know. That's what they're paying Jeff Bezos for. You know, Shatner and them. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. They go up to space. They kill a guy and then they come back down. <laughs> that's right. I'll give you a million dollars. That covers the ride up me murdering someone and transport back home again. Born by the same sun as yours. Yes, it's not far from here at all. It's called Kukuru. That's what we call it. I don't know what your name for it is because none of your people have ever visited us. Do you plan to go back someday? That's that all indignant. Oh, yes. you know, not your people have ever visited us. <laughs> yeah. Never, never mm. taken the time. Don't be where I've been. I hadn't he, planned to stop know, here. No, not at all. Them. It was an emergency. An emergency landing. Mm. Is your saucer broken? Saucer broken? You mean my marvelous machine? <laughs> Preposterous. Uh, broken down. Well, uh, yes, it is. As a matter of fact, it is. Look. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on in that last yeah, five yeah. seconds of filming right there. Yeah. So did he trigger that now explosion inside of his own machine? It, it, it appeared that way. Like he Look, threw up the Hitler salute, and then boom, the machine exploded. And then it belched in his face? Normally, he, normally he, was, he was pranking them because he did the distraction. He's like, oh, look, my ship's broken. And then the smoke and all that. And then he goes over there and burps because he's like, ah, you know. Drink. Yeah, the words he was drinking. All gassy. There's the tree, kids. Where's your snowshoes? Frankie, and I'll take care of getting something to eat. All right, Why do you quiet. smell like Martian wine? I'm getting worried about the children. Where would they be all this time? They're on vacation, so they're out having fun. <sighs> Wouldn't it be a pity if the Santa Claus suit doesn't fit you anymore? <laughs> Don't worry, it'll fit well enough. They'll never recognize me anyway. Gone in our town. Several peculiar <laughs> things have so happened here lately, and without wishing to cause any unnecessary alarm, this radio station suggests watching out for prowlers who may be up to no good. Did they basically just ruin Santa Claus for their kids accidentally? There. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why they're you know gonna run away from home and go to Mars. Contains a mixture of cereals, antibiotics, and vitamin and mineral. No. I think it's funny that they mentioned you beware for prowlers who are up to no good. They don't mention Wait. prowlers that are up to good. Wait for me. Yeah. They're up yeah. there prowling, doing good it's things. Possible. It doesn't usually happen <laughs> together like that. Officer, there was a man outside my apartment. He was looking in my window and he informed me that That's it looked like my refrigerator wasn't running and oh. I probably, oh. you know, I, I, he saved me I so much spoilage. <laughs> Do you want to borrow my skis? Yes, I'd like to press charges, of course. He looked in my window at me. <laughs> okay, let me get him off. He helped me out a lot, but yeah, take him away. Oh. Oh. Here, put this on while I get the other one. Alternately, you could fly. Yeah, yeah. why is the Martian encumbered all of a sudden? I don't understand your human ways. How do I do this? Here, it's simple. Well, first you need to oh, have shoes. Yeah, you just drop you your boots into them. I don't think that works, does it? Yeah, yeah, no, you need special shoes for this. That's the little sled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> French fries pizza, French fries pizza. <laughs> uh, if this guy breaks his leg or something, nobody's going to be able to help him, right? Like, he's got a completely different anatomy to the human being. Goofy, Goofy did this better in that cartoon. <laughs> oh, the tree bag! <laughs> what? Oh, that killed Sonny Bono. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, Natasha Richardson. That's true. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Makes Talbot. Funny. Are you going down past our old gravel pit? Sure, hop on. And you too, creepy weirdo stranger. You hop on as well. It's the second one horse open sleigh. Yeah. Abandon their skis, too. Oh, screw it. Somebody will find them.
a very comfortable ride. <laughs> yes, very. Uh -huh. Not very fast, though. Well... Now, wait a minute. <laughs> I have a faster way. You're welcome. A <laughs> Oh, the machine's on fire. <laughs> what the actual hell? So is the Martian really entertaining the idea that perhaps the, the horse would be faster than just flying? Nah, like, eh, forget this, I, I can go faster very, than this. I don't think he's a very smart Martian. Great. Great, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, Perfect. We did nothing to solve this problem, so I'm glad yeah. it's solved now. Because the motor makes a terrible roar when it revs up. See what's wrong? Ow. What the hell are you talking yeah. about? You'll go see what's wrong. You're like a five-year-old human child. What are you gonna do with a Martian <laughs> spacecraft? What the hell are you talking about, Kathy? She's the, the, she's the chief mechanic. <laughs> Mister, I see your problem. The cold fusion generator isn't providing enough dark matter to your neutron engine. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> We'll wait here, you know I guess. Wrong? Oh, it's well, probably a no, square shape needs to fit into a square apart. hole or a circle shape needs to fit into a circle hole. It's probably about six on. different parts to it. You know? <laughs> big on she off solved switch. it in one second! This is what, there's a problem right here. You got a fault. Problem, mister. <laughs> Even the Martian's like, I don't know what the hell this thing is. Uncle Henry? Huh? Hi, Kathy, Frankie. Can you fix this for you me? Fix this huh? What's this part, Uncle Wait, there's more. Oh, Here. oh yeah, a nuclear, uh, <laughs> a neutron fliximander. Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of these. Sure, some kid. No problem. I don't even want to know what you need it for. Don't even care. Not interested. Yeah. Uh, I see. It's a cracked lithium crystal. Got it. Yeah, yeah, no, I can fix that in my barn here. No, I don't got no electricity in here. No lights or nothing. What do you mean? This. What is this? What's it from? Uh, it's part of my electric trains. Ah, uh, your electric train? <laughs> yeah, I bet. Watch your eyes now. Some electric train. Well, this part to this part. Man, the Martians have it mastered welding. <laughs> Even though it's an integral part of their ship design. <laughs> Who is dragging it on the ground off. back? Hey, look, let's borrow it. Uncle Henry won't mind. Okay. Let's borrow it. Uh, he always lets me use it. Wait, Frankie, let me tie the sled on. You know, a snowmobile can be dangerous. Yeah, that's why you have to obey all the laws for snowmobiles and never do anything dangerous, like speed. Yeah, up. yeah. Ah. <laughs> is law one, don't let fucking children yeah, drive a snowmobile? It's all <laughs> There's a lot to don't steal somebody else's snowmobile. Hey, this is fun! <laughs> hey, woo! <laughs> Hooray, Frankie! <laughs> you drive well! <laughs> woo! Yeah, we need every line of it. Every line of it. Every. Let's uh, take a moment to appreciate this machine here, too. The R440 Ski Roulet. <laughs> Hell of a snowmobile. They just drove it into a church. They did Benny Hill it through a church. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> 
introduce the major conflict of the movie introduced. Will there they get are. back together? Yeah, yes, they will. It's all. The movie is solved the conflict. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drop and drop. This is the remainder of the movie. Till the end. Oh, here comes a montage. Yeah, there you go. Now we're shooting like a Bee Gees video or something. <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> to show you the playful tone. Yeah, look. He's hanging out with his kids, takes them to an abandoned shack, has a good time with them. It's the song. Hooray! It's why we take a a little while to learn this song. Oh, just here we go in the hockey sweater. Remember that animated short from the, the, the Quebec uh, film book? Yeah, that was Those a pretty cool one, actually. Space helmets. Which yeah. planet are they from? Oh, come on now. They're just from here. Playing uh, a game rocket? of hockey. Huh? Shark? Game? Yeah, yeah. They all want to be rocket and shark, but his grandma spears. orders them. If he orders a big leaf sweater instead. Why, of course. We have a game like that, too. <laughs> you see, they make a goal and they push the puck in. The puck in the goal. Ooh, I want to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then a cool boss monster comes and eats losers. Right now, we have this game. We have a copy this game. Maybe you take that guy out of the goal. I don't know. That was a pretty soft one. You're open, shoot! It's like worst air movie. There's no rule that says a field can't play hockey. Or are they upset, or are they cool with the fact that he came and ruined their game? thought the Earth uh, deserted. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> there weren't any people here. Mm, we better get to work, huh? All right. Hand it down now. Easy. As soon as he's finished and everything's fixed, ask him if he'll take us for a ride. I will, yeah. <laughs> uh, all done. All done. All done. It's fixed. <laughs> we fixed it. <laughs> now I can get back to my mission, invading this planet. Stand by for liftoff. <laughs> Ruthlessly slaughtering all children. <laughs> all right, now, here we go. Not again. <laughs> Cute. That did it. Uh, good, Kathy, good. <laughs> it's starting up. It's the opposite of War of the Worlds, where the alien, where the, the human germ helped the alien. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You reported your snowmobile missing. It was parked outside of the garage and you believe somebody stole it, right? Of course somebody stole it. What do you figure? You figure it's just gonna melt it? I came down this morning, parked it right outside the door. What else could have happened? The guy who's dubbing over the English there isn't overacting to nearly the same degree that the guy delivering the original <laughs> lines is. Yeah, and he's overacting pretty big. <laughs> it's not big Maybe enough. you stole it, I'll do what I can. 
I'll just keep hitting this thing with a hammer for no reason. <laughs> How's hammering that wheel helping at all? Oh, he's trying to straighten out his wagon wheel there. Henry, you keep wasting my time like this, I'm gonna run you in. Come over here. Is that yours? Well, yeah, it's mine, all right. It's the one that's missing. I told you it was stolen. Hmm. Hello? Huh? Chief! Huh? Come here! Now my snowplow's gone! Where was it? Right there, and it's gone! Oi, oi, yo! Who's on the phone, I wonder? This used to be such a nice, quiet time. Yeah, I guess we'll never know. There was no reason for that phone call to happen except to get him to the window so we could see his snowplow was gone. <laughs> it's nice that somebody okay. at some point decided to think, well, hey, we gotta be logical here. How does he yeah. get to that window? Okay? Yeah, People are going yeah. to accept they just walks over the window. We got to get him over there somehow. You can't have had the snowplow part the eye shot of the snowmobile. No. So he sees the snowmobile's back and then sees his plow is gone now. Yeah. No, no. You got a different window. Yeah, that couldn't like have been the just really the same big, sequence. Uh, I like the really big oi, oi, oi. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. with the hands on the head there. Yeah, this guy's <laughs> selling it. This guy's selling it. You know what? You watch a Three Stooges movie and you go, oh my god, this is so over the top. This is so stupid. This isn't funny. And then you see this and go, you know what? No, those, those, guys, those guys do subtle comedy. Those guys can... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's comedy's Bring hard. Up. Comedy's hard. These guys, these guys are not achieving it. various crimes for him. Yeah. How come his kids allowed to drive, you know, massive vehicles that, you know, to be driven by an adult and not on medication? <laughs> yeah, good question. Hey, well, he's good. like farm That's kids, fine, so I can Frank. kind of understand Very that. Good, I guess, that yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> concerned. Are they farm kids so they live in the city? A no, they, they're in a farm. There's a town, and but they say, they, the girl even said, I'm glad we live on a farm. So oh, she okay. even established that. Oh, right. That's right. The, the Christmas tree farm. Yeah. So yeah, I guess I, I was I guess I was like, you know, like twelve or thirteen when I was driving like a pickup truck around a farm. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be allowed. So yeah. I guess it's not sure. that far fetched now that I think about it. This Martian, oh, I'd be concerned with how it's emotional fine. this Martian is. Oh you know, the Martian's experiencing joy and happiness now, but what happens snow. later after a couple of My drinks? Poor yeah. Saucer. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, come on, give me a hand. You start speaking Between German snow, next thing you know. <laughs> You be careful now. All right. Look at that alien ladder. I'm going to wait inside. <laughs> it's different from our ladders. <laughs> Watch your step now. It's it's slippery up here. Yeah, I will. We have oh, to make oh, it slippery. Oh, That's how it goes fast yeah. there in space. <laughs> to cut the wind resistance. <laughs> Martian didn't even bring a snow brush for his UFO. <laughs> oh no! Great galaxies! We're taking a walk! Hold on tight, Frank! Hold on! Great Whoa. galaxies? Help. Great galaxies! That's how you know he's alien, Dan. The expression on Mars we use often. Oh, help! Stop! Stop! Let's press oh, buttons randomly, trying. that's a good idea. Try, try sneezing on it. Ah, there's the end game now. I'm slipping. Hold me, Frankie. We finally got to the end game. Yeah. Please, please go down. How do you do it? Oh, please. Oh, I'm slipping. I'm gonna fall. Frankie, hold on. Don't let go of me. Please go down. Please. Hold on. Kathy. Slipping. Oh, it's going down. You know, Are you I just listen to the 
the guidance system put her right back on the pad. Go ahead, Jordan. I didn't hear the child complaining about how tough it was to hold on there. But no, the no. Was sure, cringing a lot. I was going to say, if you played just that audio uh, without the visual context, you would probably you probably have you know some child services or something show up yeah. in your house. It doesn't sound good for the Martian it. here. Like a lot of grunting. I'm oh no, slippery. Frankie, I'm slipping. Hold me, grunt, hold me, grunt. hold me tight. Don't hold let me, go. Frankie. It's going, it's going up. It's going down. Yeah, not. Uh... Why? What a nice ass you have, Frankie. I mean, what? <laughs> Sorry, I man. I can't hold on. <laughs> hey, where do I get you? <laughs> oh, catch her. Stop! Come back here, it's you. Just a little prank. Uh... All I did was almost <laughs> enter hyperspace on interstellar craft. <laughs> Yes, let's all tickle each other. What a great idea. I'm having fun, everyone. Yeah, let's bring this party inside, huh? <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Yeah. Same shot, same road. That road goes to everywhere in the town. Or if he thinks he can make a fool out of me. Henry? Huh? Is that your snowplow out there, huh? Ha! Ah. You think we're some kind of fools? Uh, 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 I, uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now, would you like to go for a real ride? Oh, yeah! Good, yeah. cover your ears. On me? <laughs> Everybody cover their ears and close their eyes. This marsh has got a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's his penis is the surprise. It's very <laughs> obvious that's an antenna and not like a string they're pulling the thing up by, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that needs, needs a long antenna. Super long antenna, it goes off camera. Uh, pick up that space radio. <laughs> Meanwhile, supper. <gasps> Impossible. There's nothing left of my turkey. You cooked it too long, eh? Oh, you Fred, cooked it too long! It evaporated! The whole turkey just disappeared! Because you cooked turkey. it too long! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, after eating raw turkey... <laughs> yeah. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Take whatever they want. Perhaps you would like to see some nice... Scenes of my planet, hmm? <laughs> Let's look at some images screen? together. Yeah, look at it. Oh, that's mm. a picture of me naked. Oh, that did that get there? Whoops, this is oh, supposed to be images of my planet. No, it's only a toy You like this children. one? We can look at more, I mean. <laughs> and for grown-ups, too. Hmm? You're the guest. Big people prefer uh, moving around on their feet because it's much more fun that way. Of course, if we have to go a long way, like a trip through space, well, then you've, uh, well, you've, uh, well, you have to use uh, one of these. Wow, what's that? Uh, your word, um, house. That's a house? Ah, yes. These are marvelous builders. So we let them, uh, we let them build all our houses. And, uh, they're excellent. Is that your planet? Oh, it's beautiful. That is just the right word. Beautiful. That's a picture of your Earth, the way it looks from space. Yeah, duh. Ooh. Yeah, that's your planet, stupid. Why would I take a picture of my own planet? I live there. Your name. What is it? Hmm? Yeah, what is it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> and it's even funny in your language, because it would mean, uh, let's see, uh, poo flower. Pool flower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pool flower. Yeah. 
poo flower. So, mm. Poo flower. The stamp is poo flower. <laughs> it's poo flower or pool flower? I heard poo flower. That's what I heard too. Okay, we're just going to go with poo flower then, but I guess. That's, and that's, that's not just, you know, it, it's not like, my name is poo flower. Uh, that's Martian for, you know, you know, great guy, but it sounds like poo flower in English. No, his name is Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
unidentified flying objects violating our airspace. <laughs> this is criminal. Probably lead with now that. We've had enough. We're going to put a stop to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, today we face our gravest threat yet. I lost one of my cufflinks. Also, the Japanese have bombed Pearl Harbor. But the cufflink <laughs> thing is a real issue that we face in this country. A day that'll live in infamy. Because if we don't, tomorrow it'll get worse. Tomorrow it'll get worse. Today it's green footprints. Tomorrow they could be red, people. <laughs> This could be orange footprints by next week. You understand Hello, where we're friend. going? Let's move them out. Remember, the eyes of the world are on you. I'm not sure that's true. Will you come back and visit us? I wish I were able to know that. As for me, I'd like to return and visit your planet, talk with you children again, with Frankie here, your friends, yep. and Kathy, too. Hmm, but who knows? Soon. I guess we just have tonight. So, um, my question is, <laughs> why did he specifically mention he only wants to talk to the children? I'd love to come back to this planet again. Talk to all the children. Yeah, yeah, every child. You I don't want to talk to a child to that I've already talked to. I <laughs> want a brand new one every time. <laughs> Bring new yeah. ones. Bring your friends. Come and visit with me. Anyhow, I have to go back to our planet. You know, I have a family there. I have a daughter our and planet? I have a son. No, 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 and I bet both planet. of them are wondering where I am right now. <laughs> ah. How nice. Uh, if one day... Looking at us. Is he trying to drive some point home that I'm missing? <laughs> uh, I got a family back home. Uh. You could meet them. He looks villainous, like around the eyes, you know? And the yeah. mouth, too. Yeah. Plus, the, the mask on his face is very weird. Oh, I'll just leave you here in the snow, children. Goodbye now. Bye bye. Bye, poo flower. Bye. Poo <laughs> Bye, Adieu. Adieu. ass. You <laughs> built such a strong relationship with me one oh, day. Man. You helped me. Mildly helped me fix my ship. If only Crap Blossom were here. <laughs> <laughs> I sure miss shit, Rose. <laughs> Right, they're gone. Activate full weapon systems. Prepare for a <laughs> basic, so basic yeah. disintegration Sorry, spread. Trim the tree. Got the tree. Flawless alibi. This way, man. I'm sorry about the turkey, but I am alright. This is fine. Uh, you know, they show this exciting I'm race and then they cut away. Now we're never going to know who won. <laughs> Lift off, pre check. <laughs> Yeah, he's speaking Martian. Speaking speak Martian, quiet, okay. Quiet. Oh, quiet yourself. What's the plan here when you get to the ship, guys? Let's <laughs> drive towards it real fast. 
really well lit Polaris, ship there. To Alpha Centauri, to Sirius. And now a periscope check of the launch area. Yep. All these safety protocols. We didn't oh. follow it all the first time we <laughs> at the all. Ship. Oh. <laughs> They're coming to say goodbye. Probably what Frankenstein thought too. <laughs> yeah, oh, look at that. Coming up to my castle with all those torches. <laughs> Of snowmobiles by carpooling together globally. Snowmobile Are you just like. Hello! Hello! <laughs> think we just gun them down here? Hello! That's what I was thinking. Hello! Yes. Hello! Hey, you last... come down here! Chief! Chief! He's from outer space! Hold it! Hello! Watch out, Chief! She can fly away! Hey, you there, come down. Come here now. You, you, wait. <laughs> hey there, friend. There's 52 professors who want to meet you. You better come along peacefully, or... Uh -huh. One professor After for every take week. Him alive. You <laughs> 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 just ran back into your saucer and taken off. So if I just take this scene and put yakety sax over it, I think that would work pretty well. Over here! Hey, come on, over here! It's incredible. Go, go, go! Let's get that guy! Let's get that guy! Let's get that guy! Let's get that guy! Let's get that and now that I think about it, it's possible he used his teleporting skill back at that abandoned shack with the kids in the montage. You better come back with us, or you'll answer to me. I'm responsible. Ha! I sense another comedic chase montage coming on. <laughs> Well, Mr. Martian, we didn't catch you, but you, you taught us a lesson about having fun. Oh. Uh -oh. For that, we thank you. Uh-oh, they cornered him now. Hold oh. oh. him off here. I figured it would be like, well, it kind of was like Bugs Bunny. It looks like they replaced the police chief with him. Look, he's over here! Oh, Bazzy Blue Chief. Oh, that was blind. Oh, they were just a his saucer, then. That'll solve this. Did you catch him, Daddy? Huh, Daddy, did you? Well, no. You kids are supposed to be in bed, aren't you? You want to see Santa Claus? Now pop uh, back on in vacation, bed. Dad. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Good night, darling. Did you find anything? I'm not really sure. I'll tell you about it. Yeah, later. It's not worth talking about. We found a guy, he flew off. <laughs> well, what happened? Did you men find anything? Oh, yes. In fact, they're all still out there doing the work we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, I snuck off the Santa Claus thing. Hey! Peekaboo! Woo-hoo! I see you! 
That's when they get him. Oh, he's vanished. Yeah, he's toying with them. So Finally, pick them I off one by one. Home. But the police are still following him. I know that. I thought they'd get up there like the deer, you know, you get them with the light and shoot them with the big. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Not supposed here's to do that, and don't do that to anybody who's watching. You, but and, here's one and don't do that you, to anybody Kathy. that's watching. And but if they ain't watching, the you go ahead and do it to them. <laughs> Who is that? What? What's going on? <laughs> Come over here, children. Merry Christmas. Here's Santa Claus to bring you your gifts. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> it's him. It's him. The flying saucer. Call the police. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Down a swim lane with everybody else swimming beside them. Call the police! How the police get there so quickly? I don't see a difference. I just see two Santas. Well, that's the that's the confusion that's happening. They're 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 going to come both. I always get my man, even if there's two of them. Headquarters calling car two. Car two, come in. This is car two. Oh, did you catch this guy? They end up the dissecting the father the because they think he's the marshal. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, got him, yeah. Sheriff. We're bringing him We're in right now. We're rounding up like 50 Santas. Don't take any chances. Oh, it's all right. Nothing to worry about. It's only Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Oh, by the way, Sheriff, there are two of them. Two of them? Two Santas? Yeah. But, you know, one of them must be a phony. Oh. Not the real Santa. Yeah, you need to see all of this. All of this is important. You need to keep all of this in. Well, Santa Claus and his flying saucer. <laughs> Baby, new friend, you and have you adventures that don't go anywhere with no major conflict that we can detect. <laughs> Just a series of events happening in a various, very big sequence. Come back and visit us. Goodbye. Come back and visit. Bye. Thanks bye for all the free candy goodbye. in your van. Goodbye. I mean, spaceship. Do you think you'll, do you think you'll really ever come back? He sounds like the alien, and it's like, hey, my, one of my parents, my parents are getting a divorce. And through trying to understand that, he helps them come to terms with it or something. You know what I mean? Some sort of thing that he's helping them with. Is he bombarding the Earth now? Yeah, no, he's back here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what he launches his attack. He learned everything he needed to know from those kids. Yeah. Earth has nothing to teach us now. Let's head back to our grubby screens so we can discuss yeah. this. Yeah, that was uh, the Christmas Martian, I guess. Yeah. It was very Christmassy. There were at least two one-horse open sleighs. There was yep, a Christmas yep. tree. I, mm -hmm. I don't think that that second one was a one horse open sleigh. I think that second one was like a stone boat or something that they were just using a transport thing. So I don't count that as a one horse open. Yeah, sleigh. Jordan, identify historical sleds much? <laughs> <laughs> They're sitting on it. It's being pulled by a horse. They it's... were standing on it. There are no seats. Well, this you know, is going to tear like the group uh... apart. This is the yeah. crush question all over again. Yeah. What's our crush question doing here? Let's have a look here. Yeah, let's have one final check-in on the crush poll. <laughs> Eight million. Oh, well, Orange is now in the lead with sixty-six point seven percent of the vote. What? Wow. Followed, how how many? By, yep. How many votes is that in total? Is that a three? three. Oh, I three. Six. Okay. Okay. All right. Two for orange, one for grape, zero for lime. Well, I don't even know what to tell you. That's crazy. I've never and tried. Three, lime. Uh, 
three pylons for <clears throat> this tweet here, which is dead wrong, by the way. The real answer is pineapple. No. Yeah, I think we can no, all disagree not. with that. <laughs> well, I've never tried it. Maybe I'll maybe I'd switch. It's good, I, but I it's think not. I've only had I've ever only ever had grape and orange crush. It's not as good as grape or orange or lime. All three of those are better than pineapple. Yeah, solidarity. This will bring the group back I, together, our hatred of the pineapple crush. That's right. That's right. You know what I like to do? Put a little pineapple crush on my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I like the pepperoni. I thought that reminds me. I like the pepperoni flavored crush. I think that's really cute. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we think of this Christmas Martian business? Uh, that was that was horrible. That was that <laughs> it wasn't was even a movie, movie, was it? Was that even no. a movie? It was a series was of things made by filmmakers. Um, yeah, that that's it's it's like it's really these these things are very simple. There's the, there's some sort of conflict the kids are having. And they need to be helped. Like, you know what? Like that cat movie. Yeah. Right? Like, that was stupid. But the kid was having trouble making friends. And the cat helped, helped him with him that. Over that. And yeah. he, helped, he helped the cat with something. Right? Like, that's how you do it. The alien has a problem. You help the alien with something. And in, in, in return, and in, in the same time, the alien helps you with something. You know? Yeah. Mm. Yep. Well, it's possible. That's possible. I mean, we had our alien, Poo Flower. Yeah. Wound up being some sort of New Age Santa, Martian Santa. Did he not I, give any gifts? I didn't love this film. I didn't think that this was the greatest film I've ever seen. The most I can give this is 13 Martians out of 10. Okay, there you go. I'm going to award this film four. And you can figure out whatever scale you want to put that on. That's up to you again. <laughs> Fairly up to you. I'm gonna I, I am gonna rate this uh this film uh I'm I'm you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it I'm gonna rate it like uh like like three uh uh fl flight matches <laughs> out of out of <laughs> 15. I think that's fair. Question. Yeah. W was this worse than the Great Land of Small? I think yes, yes. Because at least the Great Land of Small was trying to be a movie. This wasn't even trying to be a movie. Yeah. There was a conflict. The guy had the magic dust. He wasn't yeah. doing anything with it. But he was trying to get it and he was greedy. Yeah. They at least went yes. that far. This had nothing. Dude, the Great Land of Small was awesome. They had that small guy with the bag and the magic, and he was doing magic, and there was slides and stuff. That was awesome. <laughs> so, if you're locked in a room and somebody has a gun to your head and they say, you want to watch The Christmas Martian or The Great Land of Small? Great Land of Small. No brainer. Great Land of Small. All the way. No brainer. Yeah. yeah. Though I think this was shorter. This wasn't a very long movie. This was a little shorter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so it had that Ironic forth. that it was shorter than The Great Land of Small. Because you know they had the short guy in there. Great Land of Small was seemed really long. <laughs> they could have cut a lot of them. They could have cut the Great Land of Small completely out of the movie, and it probably would have been better. Yeah, probably. Honestly. Yep. Yeah. It was the all right? All right. Small. Yeah. So what what has been your favorite film so far that we have watched, and then, or that you guys have watched? Because you guys watched a, a bunch without me. That's right. We so did. far. Yeah. I, you know what? I guess I, I liked Whiskers, I guess. I Whiskers, mean, it was, it was terrible it was and stupid, but at yeah. the same time, you're right. It was at least a movie. It was at least trying yeah. to be an actual movie that like made sense. Yeah, and I, I gotta say, Brett Carver, I mean, you, you saw a cat in his performance. You, you yeah. saw what he was doing. You know, at least it was competent, right? Yeah, that's true. How about you, Jordan? What, what, are you, well, what is your favorite thus far? <laughs> I'm just having a quick look back, and you know what? I think Powderheads was my favorite. Powderheads. <laughs> I missed that one. I missed Powderheads. That was a great movie. There was I'll so much skiing, and then yeah. there was some stuff that happened. I don't really remember, but the skiing. 
From what I've heard, it's all just skiing. It's just yeah. montages of skiing. Just watch some Olympic skiing, and that's basically the movie Powderheads right there. Yeah, they've they've they they would they saw uh, an eighties ski movie and went, okay, you know what would make this better if you took out all of the the jokes and nudity and sex. Yeah, and fun and and any reason for it to exist. And yeah, just had the skiing. Yeah, just had the skiing. Of the one. Of the ones I've seen so far, um, I think Lady Frankenstein. I think I found the Ooh. most entertaining, just because it was. It was again. They were at least it was a movie, and you saw what they were trying to do, yeah. and how they really missed the mark. I found that entertaining. That was a good one. I liked Lady Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah. That that one was wild, man. That yeah. Frankenstein creature. It was, yeah, that was something kind of else. Mis- what is it? Because it was they they burnt the one side of his face when yeah, they yes. brought him to life. I like, was kind of hanging out. Yeah, and yeah. And uh, that yeah. Uh, lady Frankenstein there, she was hot to trot. I yeah. tell you, she must have been in heat. <laughs> well, that's the thing. He somehow convinces her to have sex in the middle of the fire with the building burning down at the end. <laughs> that's bold. You know, you got to give it to him. That's bold. <laughs> Bold choice. Bold, bold come on there. Yeah. It's like, yeah. You know, you're, baby. You're in the building when 9 11 happens and you're like, you think what I'm thinking? You know? Uh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> As this building's going down, I think so should I be. You know? Yeah, that's, exactly. That's I think going to happen here. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. That yeah. was uh, so, the Christmas Martian. Yeah, the Christmas don't Martian. Forget to, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe. Yeah. We appreciate it. We're well on our way. There's 23 of you in this party. Yeah. So come yeah. along, join Martian. in the fun. There you go. Yeah, Christmas so. Martian all the way. It was, you know, it was that crush. It was that quirk crush question. So that, that's what did draws it. The people to in. Down. That's why people come like, here oh. to talk about orange crush versus grape <laughs> crush versus lime crush. <laughs> it's just somebody running into a bar saying, hey, there's guys on YouTube talking about crush. Which <laughs> one's best? And then the bar just clears out because everyone has to get to their computers. Yeah, Get in exactly. on this crush action. Well, we got lots more coming yeah. for you next year. This is our last one of these for this year. So have a Merry Christmas. Have fun celebrating whatever else you might celebrate. And yeah. we'll catch you again in the new year. Watch, watch a better movie than Christmas, Martian, for your yeah. Christmas movie at night. Right. Exactly. Stay, stay free, everyone. Merry uh, Christmas. Bye. Good night. <laughs>